I'm back. Another banger. Banger. Okay, um, let me not laugh because sometimes I hide the pain through laughter and it's actually really bad. I need to stop doing that. What's up, gang? It's your girl Tosin. Happy New Year. From the title, you know, we're about to get into some things. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I just want to say Happy New Year, first of all. I know you guys want to fight, so I'm gonna need you to keep your fighting hands and turn them into like praying hands because. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. You guys can see the name change. Before I get into the name change, I just want to start off by giving like a little life update. What's been going on from 2022 till now. And then we can talk about why there's a name change and like why I'm changing my name. And like what does this mean? And all of that other stuff. Okay. I hate opening up. <laughs> So last year was a very challenging year for me, which is why I wasn't really online as much and I was really in my mystery girl era. I just wanted to talk about that because the last time I did a live update, I was still kind of going through the motion so I couldn't really fully express myself because I wasn't ready to at that time and I think now I'm more prepared to like speak on things and like talk about certain things before moving forward. So... I started the year off on a high. I was very excited. I just got into my final year. I just also like was part of the YouTube class, the 2022. The first video I dropped was just like phenomenal. And um, I had so much high hopes for the year, but it was one of like the most challenging years that I've ever had till date. My mental health was really bad last year. It was really bad last year. Affecting my school. I can't, I'm not a highly functional person when it comes to either, when, like, when I experience anxiety or depression. It actually impedes my functionality. So my functionality goes from maybe like a hundred to a zero, to complete zero, to complete stop. And like, I have to basically gradually like start walking again, start running again before I can get to like this point where I am. Um, in front of you and I can talk and I can express myself and I can just be you know vulnerable and emotionally like I was just going through the motions so ended up not being able to graduate last year and for me that was like a gut punch because my uni journey has been like a very long one for me especially through like the ups and downs like there's so many things like there's been so many things so many things so many, so many, so many things but i thought like uh like by may june like i'll be done i'll be over and i still had i just had one more course and that course i did not pass it and it felt like ugh. and because of how challenging like the semester was and everything i had to take step away from the thing that makes me happy which is youtube i initially started my channel in 2019 and although i would love to say i started because yeah like i just wanted to like show you guys like who i am blah 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 i honestly started this channel to escape my reality like i just wanted to travel in my head to a different space which is why i created my channel just to express myself to hound my creative skills to just talk to laugh to giggle to vibe like there were so many things in my personal life that i don't think i'm gonna share in especially not right now but not in this video that i just wanted to escape from and it was also helping me manage like being in school at the same time and i had to kind of give up the thing that was taking me through the journey which was like recording video and making youtube content because like that was what was making me was keeping me sane through those moments so when i had to stop that i had to kind of like face the reality of things and like face the fact that like i'm extremely tired because if i'm not doing this or if i'm not on camera like i'm on in school if i'm not in school like i'm on camera like i'm there's no point where i'm just resting or just being or just like having time with the people that i love and care about always busy but i was always exhausted at the same time and i was drained i was just disoriented i tried to create content 
that I best I could but if I'm going to be honest with myself like the videos I made last year I was creating it from my head and not from my heart the things I put out I always put out from my heart like I put my everything into it the best I can because I value your time and I value your data and I value your energy and I know that like it's an honor for you to just stop take out time off of your day just to watch my videos and watch my content and even see what I'm up to that's why like I'll be off and on off and on and I just wouldn't just be online at all because I was I was going through like a healing journey and um there were a lot of things changing a lot of things changing in my personal life losing friends losing relations losing um opportunities losing sleep sometimes and just like being in this space of isolation where it's just me and god and i have to kind of face myself and um it was a rough journey it was a very rough year i'm not gonna lie it was very rough year i'm just extremely happy that i made it and i think it's even funnier when i look at the videos i made and they were just all me traveling and like being outside the country like having a good time and it just goes to show that like sometimes when people are like having a good time doesn't mean they're not going through trials and tribulations because baby when i tell you like the storms were hitting, they were hitting. I made it out and I'm on the other side of it though. Trying to figure out myself and like for some reason like coming back to this channel, it was a bit scary. My anxiety was very like high because I had to kind of face my self. And what I mean by that is I'm facing the 90 year old me that had a dream and I'm saying to her um oh my goodness I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I had to confront whether I was going to make I was going to quit on her or I was going to get up and try again And this is me trying again. Oh my god, I was crying. <laughs> Ooh, ciao. Starting all over, but with experience. So let's take two. And this is also for anyone that's going through like motions, especially with anxiety. In general, just not feeling like your best or no wanting to do anything or no wanting to show up for yourself, like and you feel like it's time has passed and you feel like your moment has gone or you feel like you've messed everything up and you feel like everything can like it's not the same I, baby girl get up and try again i'm here get it up and try it again and i'm here to tell you that you can get up and try again anyways okay to the name change why am i rebranding and changing my name okay so i've been meaning to change my name since 2021 initially i was going to change my name to bgt i really like bgt but the problem was when i search on google and when you search on youtube if you type in bgt the first thing that's going to pop up is british got talent which means like it would affect my SEO and like my search history and like people would like try to find me so I decided to use my actual name which is Twisting Victoria Victoria is my middle name I know y'all are shocked yeah and the reason why I decided to just change it to my actual name instead of finding something unique and simple is because my name is always going to stay the same but I'm always going to change and evolve so yeah everything BGT production like at your big age which is my show that I started in 2021 that I only made like three episodes, but they were so good. Like you should go watch that. I are on a pause for now, mainly because the logistics of doing that consistently um, is not realistic. You guys are still BGT gang because I still love the name BGT. And honestly, I'm still gonna keep that name. I don't know, like you guys, you wanna play with the new name, but you guys wanna still keep your BGT gang. Let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about that. What to explain 2023 is just me showing up. That's it. Like, just expect me showing up and be open and receptive to the new things I'm doing. And then if you mess with it, really engage in the comment section. And if you don't, also engage as well because I feel like I make better content when I know what 
you guys are thinking what you guys like that is aligned with me as well and we can like collaborate <laughs> wednesdays is bgt wednesdays like whenever it's wednesday expect a video from me that's my promise to you guys from now on uh, i just want to give a big big shout out thank you guys so much for always bullying me on the internet uh, to come back on youtube just shows that you guys do watch and engage my content it's really encouraging especially as a creator because sometimes you may get in your head i know i do yeah i'll see you guys later hope you guys have a beautiful day love you loads kisses and bye